Have you ever wondered what happens during a data breach? It's a question that piques our curiosity and concern, especially in this digital age. Data breaches you see are more than just a simple case of credit card information theft. They are complex events that can have profound implications for individuals and businesses alike. The term data breach might conjure up images of hooded figures hunched over keyboards, stealing credit card numbers, but it's not just about that. A data breach can involve various types of information, from personal emails and passwords to sensitive corporate data and intellectual property. Moreover, it's not just about the what, but also the how. How does a data breach happen? How do cyber criminals infiltrate secure systems? These are questions that need to be addressed to fully comprehend the nature and impact of data breaches. So let's dive into the steps of a data breach to understand it better. Before the storm hits, there's always a calm. The same is true for data breaches. In the world of cybercrime, this period of calm is the time when hackers carefully plan their attacks. They study their targets, identifying the weak spots, the vulnerabilities that they can exploit. Much like a predator studying its prey, they wait for the perfect moment to strike. They may exploit a software vulnerability, a small gap in the system's defenses that can be used as an entry point. Or they may use more sophisticated methods such as phishing, where they disguise themselves as a trustworthy entity to trick individuals into revealing sensitive information. This calm period is marked by meticulous planning and patient waiting. It's the time when hackers prepare their tools and strategies laying the foundation for the impending data breach. And once they have the access they need, well, that's when the real game begins. In the eye of the storm, the hacker is in control. Once they've breached the system, they've entered a sort of calm center, where they can navigate with relative ease. Like a thief in a deserted museum, the hacker moves undetected, slipping through the shadows of the digital landscape. They begin their hunt, their search for the treasure they've come for. It could be a trove of personal information, a cache of financial data, or a vault of intellectual property. Every system is a potential gold mine, and every byte of data, a potential nugget of gold. As they sift through the digital debris, they find what they're looking for, the valuable data that, once extracted, can be sold, manipulated, or exploited. The hacker now has what they came for, they've found their prize. But don't be fooled, the storm isn't over, rather, it's just beginning to build. Every storm leaves behind a trail of destruction. Here's what happens next. The aftermath of a data breach can be chaotic and its impact, far-reaching. The stolen data may find its way to the shadowy corners of the dark web, sold to the highest bidder. It can be used for a range of criminal activities, from identity theft to corporate espionage. The breached data can be a goldmine for cyber criminals, providing them with the tools they need to commit fraud and deception. But the story doesn't end there. Once a breach is detected, companies spring into action. They engage cybersecurity experts to contain the breach and assess the damage. They notify affected parties and take steps to mitigate the potential fallout. They also work to strengthen their security measures, learning from the breach to prevent future attacks. Remember, a data breach is more than just a hack. It's a carefully executed plan with far-reaching consequences.